This is the tight script of the unpublished portion of De Profundis, written by Oscar Wilde. My name is Pom Harrington, and I'm the owner of Peter Harrington. Um, before me, we have a very special object. Um, when Oscar Wilde was in prison uh, for homosexuality, um, he started writing towards the latter months uh, two bits. One was a letter to Lord Alfred Douglas remonstrating with him for his failure to support him um, and blaming him for going to jail. And the second part was a literary essay named De Profundis. The time he came out of prison, the, the, the essays are kind of merged into one. And he produced uh, the, the novel De Profundis and he sent the original manuscript to his literary agent, Robbie Ross. Mr. Ross read it, and he was instructed to send a copy of the manuscript to Lord Alfred Douglas for his comments. Uh, Lord Alfred Douglas read apparently the first few pages and just dismissed it and threw it in the bin. Um, essentially, the book was about him. Robbie, um, after, um, they, they, Robbie Ross basically decided to publish the book, um, but he omitted all the details about Lord Alfred Douglas and just published it essentially as a literary essay. Um, which came out as De Profundis, and that was back in about 1905. In 1912, Arthur Ransom, uh, was also a children's author, wrote a, a review in the Sunday Literary Supplement, where he inferred that De Profundis, although it wasn't named, was actually about Lord Alfred Douglas. Well, Lord Alfred Douglas sued the Sunday Times and Arthur Ransom. So Robbie Ross's solution was very simple. He actually made a tight script of the unpublished portion of De Profundis, which clearly showed that the book was actually about Lord Alfred Douglas. McCarty, um, who is the defence lawyer, so took this very document and he basically sat in court and read out for two days the entire tight script. Now, because this was in court, there's no libel action there. And famously at the time, the newspapers, who were absolutely fascinated um, by the whole thing, um, promptly wrote down and typed up the entire contents. And the entire contents of this type script was actually then published in the newspapers in the following two days, therefore putting out completely in the open that Oscar Wilde had indeed written about Lord Alfred Douglas. And, uh, and the fact that, you know, he, he did abandon uh, Oscar Wilde and all the thoughts about homosexuality, etc. Um, Lord Alfred Douglas lost the case. And, um, and it wasn't until... 1953, when Robbie Ross was dead, the major manuscript had been given to the British Library. And some 50 years later, the full version was actually eventually published um, with uh, nothing omitted. The importance of this tight script is really, it, was, it brought down the ultimate downfall of Lord Alfred Douglas. I think he was a deeply unpopular person. And if I flick through, you can see all the notes of the, the lawyer and underlining what would have been a stage performance as he read out um, over the two days. And you can see his notes and underlining of the important bits. And I believe down here, page 45. And, and, and it's essentially the, the information here, um, it shows the, uh, the level of um, the bankruptcy Oscar Wilde was having. But that, that is Robbie Ross's notes. At the front, there's a, there's a note um, basically saying, please return to Robbie Ross Reform Club Pow Mau, which is where presumably the, the typescript went back to. It's extremely rare to have um, any sort of original manuscript, typescript of any of Oscar Wilde books. Um, it's a completely unique object and represents the first printed um, portion of the, the suppressed De Profundis. For details of this and other articles of Oscar Wilde, please see the Peter Harrington website.